Hello are you guys? First video of the day coming in through here as Rock and David on United Matters channel. How are you guys? And where are you watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David as earlier stated before on the United Matters channel. Smash the like button, comment and share. And if at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Remember, we want to hit 9,000 subscribers before this month ends and we are left with how many days? 13 days left to hit the 30th of September. So guys, do it a point. Make it a point that before September elapses, we've hit 9,000. And on the October month, we really back onto the 10,000K journey. All right, today I've been off. Reason being, guys, news is scarce. Guys, <laughs> If there is nothing as scarce, if there is something scarce, it's news, especially in this hour when the queen is really being um, being uh, prepared to be laid to rest or be kept by the authorities in the United Kingdom hierarchy. The monarch is really taking us this low. We felt so bad for her passing away, but obviously it has also affected the, the what the the flow of the news and that's why you see little stories are really coming in through and to get this story i had to go to the manchester united evening news they quoted emmanuel astroidini urging ten Hag to sign ivan tony i want to see what you guys have to say about this because it's something that <coughs> most people really have loads of thoughts about like bisegera ibrahim who really watches this channel is one of those that really asked me a question way back that on Kalazidic and Ivan Tony and who else did he talk about? He talked about three strikers, but I'm only remembering these two. That who could you bring at Manchester United? When I told him Ivan Tony, he told me I think we should bring Tony and a player who goes by um, the names of Kalazidic. We we'll bring two of those, and I told him that the only the only way they could come two of those is when Ronaldo leaves in January. But according to what Eric Hag said after the game of of shelf when Ronaldo scored a penalty, obviously it looks like Ronaldo is part of the plan and he has agreed to stay at Manchester United for the rest of his contract. And you never know, in the summer, Ronaldo might even trigger his one other year at Manchester United because when you look at United, it will be in the Champions League. I'm 100% sure. Secondly, no team would be willing to go on and beat pay Ronaldo the amount of money that he's earning like at Manchester United. And obviously, the club is benefiting from Ronaldo's fame, financial benefits. Remember, Ronaldo sold 2 million shirts when he came in at Manchester United. If you want to convert, go onto the website of United that sells that merchandise and multiply because every shirt is less, is less, its minimum price is like 80 pounds. So, 80 pounds times 2 million. Do you know how much that is? So, it shows you how much Ronaldo really makes for United. And obviously, the Glazers, especially Avram Grazer, doesn't want this guy to leave Manchester United. But, smash the like button, guys. I want to see close to 100 likes on this video. Let's get into this story brought in here for you by a man who goes by the names of Troy Dini. Now, Troy Dini, he has a column in the Sun Sport Football. And he had the following to say. He said about Ivan Tony. He said... This guy has proven for a few years now that he can do it on the next level. I remember Ivan was linked with Arsenal and Manchester United previously, and he would have shown there. To me, shining there is a different question to be answered on another day. And I obviously feel that Ivan Tony fits exactly what Eric Ten Hag demands from a striker. And you remember a story I did way back in the summer when we are linked to Ivan Tony, I had a story coming in from the Sun a, again that Ivan Tony is really looked at at United as one of the center forwards after missing out on Doe Nunes. I came out and told you that for the problems having at Manchester United and the kind of strikers I really believe that Ten Hag wants at Manchester United, Ivan Tony is not yet there because of the numbers he put up in the Premier League. And even Eric Ten Hag came out and really replied to a journalist who asked him while well, the preseason was it in Australia why he never really buys English players and is going in for players that are Dutch and from the LDVs. He said, I don't know these players. And secondly, the English players are really expensive and their quality is really questionable. That's it. 
you get and if at all you get one player who is english and his quality is really up to the standards he is very expensive that's what he said so when you add all of that i never saw ivan tony coming to Manchester United. but this time around i really believe that with how he's playing he might find his way out of brentford to Manchester united reason being eric ten Hag wanted one striker if at all ronaldo stayed and if at all ronaldo went he fanced for two center forwards now meaning that that never ended because because he has been given a budget of 70 million pounds to spend ivan tony is rated at 40 million pounds but i don't see i don't see us paying 40 because ten Hag doesn't really believe in him and i believe Eric ten Hag is always ready to go in and spend money on a striker who he really believes can come in and get the job done to me he can come in and score those goals but he has the energy is he press resistant i've not yet seen him act a lot in tight spaces he has the eye for goal that's it he even scored a hat trick in his last game he played that has put his tally on five goals with in six matches and one assist and two assists i think now does that really make him become a united striker i doubt i doubt i doubt i doubt that doesn't make him a united striker but the way he's really playing if at all he really keeps the rhythm like up to december he goes to the world cup plays very well and comes back and bangs in goals maybe he might really gate the eye of eric ten Hag to come in at much he's not a bad striker but he needs to keep the consistency to really go on and be able to fulfill what Troy Dini is telling us about Ivan Tony. Then Troy Dini continued to let us know that Ivan Tony would have been a perfect fit for United in terms of what they are currently need up front, as well as Arsenal until Gabriel Jesus redefined that role for them. So, talking of perfect, one of the attributes that Ivan Tony has is the energy and the bully in him. You get he's a different kind of striker compared to the strikers over at Manchester United, Martial, Rashford, and Ronaldo Cristiano. Different kind of striker altogether, according to me. And that's the only reason as to why he can really come in and really be considered by Eric Ten Hag. And for that, Troidini is right, because when you look at Ivan Tony and Brian, Brian Broby, that Eric Ten Hag really wants a lot, I think the attributes are almost the same. But I think Brian Broby has more onto the ball than Ivan Tony. You get his skill set on the ball is really far much better than that of Ivan Tony. But obviously, 90% they are the same. They are the same. That's it. But Brian Broby has more skills compared to Ivan Broby. But the most important aspect that they do hold is that energy that energy and the bullying factor in them they can bull anyone because their games you're going to come up their teams are going to come up when even only playing well doesn't really get you out of their hard rock or their solid defense you have to go in and really do the needful and really use energy sometimes look at Haaland. Haaland is a striker who can finish who can finish clear-cut chances but even when power is needed to go in and really score that goal he will put then he will put in the power to do that that's something that ivan tony has that i really believe that is really so much great for eric ten Hag to consider maybe in january he can be at manchester united then true didn't told us that if he has the year he will likely have even chelsea will keep an eye on him he could go he could go there long term and be a real a real success under graham potter so yeah that's what i've said even recently that to me i believe the only way ivan tony is to keep himself in an equation to join Manchester united is the consistency because six games into this into the game into the start of the season he's not the first striker to come out and do this very many strikers have come in the premier league and scored close to seven goals in their first 10 games in the premier league but at the end of the season, they end with 12 goals. So he has set he has set the peak so high. So he needs to go on and really continue doing it. Because the the gear he has really started with this season is gear number five. He's at gear number five. Now, does he have to 
continue to go on pressing that gear all putting the foot on the pedal and not letting it off the pedal to really keep united in his in his sight the answer is yes the answer is yes trust me if we reach january when ivan tony has scored close to 13 goals or 15 goals and some good assists like five 20 goal involvements in um in uh, how many in in like 15 15 or 17 games that will be incredible and i know he's going to create a lot of buzz in the January transfer window and i think he has another factor that is really pushing him to perform like that it's the world cup it's the world cup he has been included into this squad that's going to play in the UEFA nations league by Gareth Southgate and obviously he's here to go on and be do the needful for a side which goes up the names of England meaning that having been called to play against Italy and Germany that is going to act like a push for him to return in the champion to return in the Premier League on the first and second to really go ahead and really play some good games to really fit the levels of what his manager really wants him to be and to work for himself the more he keeps consistent the more you, he's going to keep himself in the eye of united and ten hag maybe ten hag will go and say all right get me a right back and get me a center forward you get in that 70 million pounds ivan tony 40 million pounds and then 30 million pounds for demo freeze that's it he can take it that way so he just has to keep doing this and maybe other teams like chelsea can go in for him because they need another center forward then troy dini when he let us know that you look at the type of striker nowadays your doe nunes or hang Haaland, who are six feet plus and are mobile and can score all different types of goals you have to put ivan in that category i think this is a lie it's a lie you can't put ivan tony in the same category like doe nunes and the player who goes by names of Haaland because to me i believe Haaland is more clinical than ivan tony he makes better runs of the ball his movement is really great and i think the movement of ivan tony is lacking because in a team like in a team like brentford if at all his movement was great last season when he came in through he would have scored very many goals according to me so we've seen people like danny danny ings danny ings scored close to 20 premier league goals when he was at southampton because his movement is better danny ings has a better movement than than ivan tony i really see ivan tony make those runs onto the near post you get he makes those runs on the far post but those runs on the near post are the ones that we justify a striker a clinical striker because most of the balls are not going to be led by the defenders to reach the back post that's it for the ball to reach the back post it has to beat the central defenders it has to beat the full back the two central defenders and the goalkeeper you get but for the near post the ball the cross just needs to beat one person that is the left back or the right back then if at all you make that run on the near post you'll score very many goals so those runs on the near post i've not seen him make a lot he's not good in the air according to me but i believe the best aspect for him he's a bully he's a bully and in the premier league their games you'll need a player like ivan tony because they are defenders who are really quick and smart but when you bully them and you apply energy on them you'll send them down into the limbo and obviously you'll score that goal so i believe comparing him to doe nunes and erin Haaland, that's a myth that's a myth and that is diabolical it's unacceptable so ivan tony i don't really believe is the same category like doe nunes and erin Haaland because this is so much something that we're used on when we see an english person or player come out really score those goals like ivan tony is doing the english media will always come in there to hype him they'll hype ivan tony i don't say ivan tony ceiling is really limited or short i don't know what's going to become i don't know what's going to become next in the future maybe he can become a striker that's going to be one of those that's going to be talked of in the world i can't predict that way because no one is tall enough to see the future but as things stand now He's not better than Doen Nunes. He's not better than Erin Haaland, according to me. That's it. 
according to me. So Troy Dini for that, comparing Ivan Tony with Haaland and Owen Nunes, I don't agree with you. Then he concluded by saying he has always been a humble kid, but he's very confident in his ability. And when you score the amount he has over the past two years, you would back yourself. So to me, I believe there is a player in him. I don't really go ahead to really underrate him. There is a player in him. And if at all he has been able to act like that under a manager, is it Thomas Frank, the manager of, of Brentford, who is Danish? I think he can be an improved player at Manchester United by Eric Ten Hag. He can turn him into a deadly striker. I was so shocked how Eric Ten Hag has been turned Scott McTominay into a revelation at Manchester United. To an extent that he's into the same equation with a man who goes by the name of Casemiro. Can you imagine? Can you imagine that this guy is in the same equation with Casemiro and Casemiro is playing off the bench because I know... Scott McTominay is being rated, but I believe he's a good player. But Casemiro is better. So it shows you how much Eric Ten Hag can transform a player. And by so doing, you can see Ten Hag transforming Ivan Toni into a striker that we never even thought he would have become in there for you. So let's wait and see what's going to become, what's going to be like in January, whether Ivan Toni is really going to be joining Manchester United. But Troy Dini has urged... Eric Ten Hag to go in and really sign a player who goes by the names of Ivan Tony. So your reactions to that is welcome or are welcome into the comment section below. And now let's get to the last story of the day. Sorry of this episode because I believe I'm going to learn another story before we really sleep. <coughs> Paul Masson on Luke Shaw's England call-up. He said I was shocked with Luke Shaw's with the Luke Shaw one. If I'm being honest, the amount of fullbacks we have in this country and the talent fullback, talented fullbacks at that. I was shocked with that. To me, I believe the reason that's why Luke Shaw was called is simple. He's he's really one of those one of those soldiers of of Gary Southgate. Gary Southgate believes in him. He's a man who believes in those players that have really been there for him and played some good games of football for him. They can put their bodies on the line. He scored in the finale of the Euros. And trust me, unless he's injured, he's going to go to the World Cup. You'll be here letting me know what I'm telling you now. Unless he's injured, he's going in the World Cup. Him and Chirwell are the left backs that Southgate is taking because he doesn't want to try his team anymore. He's going to stick with the same team. Trust me. Sancho will come in, Rashford will come in, and you'll see him play a back three of of um, of Kyle Walker, Harry Maguire, and John Stones. Then um, you'll find um, you'll find Trent Alexander Arnold and uh, Rhys James sharing that right wing back position. Then the left wing back obviously looks sure all all uh, Ben Chirwell. Then the central midfielders, you'll be having three there. Mason Mount. Um, Mason Mount, Declan Rice, and um, Calvin Phillips. Then the forwards, Harry Kane and, Harry Kane and, uh, and Sterling. He's not going to change his team. He's not going to change it. You get? He won't change that team, according to me. He won't change that team. You get? He won't change it. And secondly... You know the reason as to why Luke Shaw was called. Having fallen into the picking order, down to the picking order of Eric Ten Hag, after Malaysia came in and really put in beautiful performances, if you are a manager who really believes that Luke Shaw can go in and do a very good job for you in the World Cup, you have to call him such that you really get his, his motivation up. You motivate him. He plays in the Euros. Sorry, he plays in the UEFA Nations League two games against Germany and Italy. Then after playing those games... I think he will come back with a little bit of more confidence at Carrington. But if at all he really got snubbed by Southgate, I think it would have really affected him. But I think there's going to be a lot of self-belief in him that, oh, even if Ten Hag is not really picking me the Premier League games and really giving me minutes into the UEFA Europa League, I think I still have trust in the manager because right now every player is eyeing at the World Cup. He's eyeing at the World Cup, and I believe that's why he was included in this squad to really get his confidence back. So, guys, 
What do you think about Luke Shaw's call being called up and Paul Masson being really shocked? Paul Masson, I think, is an Arsenal agent, and obviously he really had that to say in the face. So, guys, Rock and David is my name. Smash the like button, comment, and share. 100 likes are wanted on this video, and endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I sign out for now. See you later. I cover you all in the blood of Jesus Christ, and may Almighty and the may Almighty Lord bless you abundantly as you guys call for blessings from him every day and every night. I'm out. Your reactions into the comment section. I'll read them. And as I've said, and as and as I've come in and talked about Bisegura Ibrahim, I'm going to start to come in here and really answer your questions that you really, go th you really put in the comment sections because it really urges you to go in and really keep it United Matters channel. I'm out for now. See you later. Ciao, ciao.